Hi Guido Fox here. Welcome by a new book report. Today I want to discuss with you the book The Diamond Sutra. The Diamond Sutra from Osho. It's around 400 pages of information. 400 pages I read for you. And the Diamond Sutra is based on the sutras from Gautam the Buddha, from Buddha. So it is linked with Buddha, it is knowledge from Buddha. And Osho wrote also about these sutras and he combined the knowledge here. So a lot of information, dense information about spiritual growth about healing yourself, healing from your past, your traumatic experience, your history and becoming more refreshed, refreshed in life, not with all those burdens in your energetic system, but become more free, more open, more spiritual and more anti-blockade. That's where I want to go with you. Mental Champions League. If people are coming by me and be coached by me, I learn the Mental Champions League. You're by me for Mental Champions League. Based on the knowledge of Osho and Buddha. The first interesting topic is at page 13. And that is about that you have to drop everything what is accumulated. Accumulated, that's the interesting word here. Accumulated in your energetic system, in your mind. And if it is in your mind, it is in your body. If people have stiff shoulders, probably they have also very a lot of fire, darkness, conflicts, thoughts, past traumatic events in the mind. So if it's mostly in the mind of people, it's always also reflecting in the body and you move stiff, you move heavily on earth. You're not flying on this earth, you're not waving on this earth like a surfer on the waves you're like a burden i see people having heavy steps on the streets they walk heavily therefore they've accumulated mental burden drop your past heal your past with a lot of meditation with a lot of silence, with a lot of talks with coaches to heal your burden mechanisms, mechanisms who block you in your life to go further with your life, to search for a more healthy career relationship path in your life. If you are stuck, if your energy is stuck, the rest is mostly also stuck. You're not moving forward. Another word is also interesting here is clinch. Clinching to the past, clinching to negativity, addicted to negativity is the clinch attitude, the grabbing attitude, clinch to the past, clinch to your traumatic experiences, clinch to materialism, clinch to your income, clinch to your car, clinch to your girlfriend, to grab her because she is mine ownership. So anti-clinch. You don't miss out things. If you can remove your clinch and learn to let go of it, you make more space. Remove the furniture 
and space is there. If you have a house full of furniture, you have no clean house, you have not an organized environment, you have too much little things you want to have in your house, what is not useful, you're not able to create space in your life. That's the first wisdoms from Gautam the Buddha. Remove the furniture in your house and space is there. Page 101. I have to select. I have to select the most interesting topics because otherwise it become too much. So, page 101. The master is a mirror. If you hate me, that is nice because if you hate me probably I trigger something in you what you don't like about yourself. So first of all search for a coach who maybe you hate them because he's finger pointing you on your work spots. So if you hate me you hate yourself some part of yourself maybe. So the master is a mirror. You have to search for wise mirrors in your life because all those coaching programs you can buy it but are they instant mirroring you? Are you growing from all those coaching programs where you can push the button to stop your coaching program and maybe next week you co continue with your coaching program and there's no one say to you hey you have to do this this and that and then you're able to grow so search for your mirror and probably search also for hateful coaches don't go for the mr and mrs nice guy or women coaches who is caring for you all the time because you're not growing from them. Go for coaches who are really triggering you and ask difficult questions. Page 171 Fearful is a blockade. It's an energetical blockade for chakra awakenings, for no surrender. Every fear in your system has to be gone. I don't talk about fear that's rising up if there's accidentally a dangerous situation and you have to hide yourself because there is maybe a gang and there are uh, violence behavioral patterns and there is some shocking event there that's fear what is nature that is instinct that is natural but if you walk on the street and you're every time you see people and you're afraid without a reason um then um it is an it's a fear pattern and it's a fear pattern on the street you can have fear patterns in your relationship for oh maybe she's she's gone and and uh, maybe uh, um, I, I, I'm afraid to stay in this relationship so or uh, I don't can find someone else so fear can be in relationships fear can be in career from oh do I have the same job somewhere else or the same salary or what if I go for this company, I let other choices open. Uh, so fear is a huge mechanism in society and you have to drop the unreasonable fears because rooting fears in your system, in your mental system are blockades 
are freezing blockades for spirit to grow. So fear, go, light can come in. Fear, go, light can come in. Overcome your fears. Talk about it with someone. Read about it. And think about your fears. Write it down your fears. What is your biggest fears? Write it down. Overthink about it and dissolve. Dissolve your fears. Your fears of failing in this world. Your fears of whatever fears they are. Even the fear of death, the fear of death, you have to remove the fear of death. If you're still afraid for the death, for the process of death or the end death, that is where all the, all the, all the fears, other fears can come out. So don't be afraid for the death. I talked a lot about this in other videos, why the why the dead is something beautiful, why you go to a wonderful next life, why the process of death is amazing. <clears throat> it will be a wonderful, peaceful experiences. But don't be afraid for the dead. That is, that's one thing that you are able to start living. If you're so afraid for the dead and you want to do all the things in life, I want to visit every country in the world because I got a dead tomorrow then you're not really living fully your life in a relaxed, in a relaxed way. Uh, so drop all the fears in your life. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. I can't say it 10, 20 times, but drop the fears. Page 275, drop the very idea of winning. Just enjoy the process. Just enjoy the process. Your development here on earth. Just enjoy your journey. And the results will come. The results in your life will come if you really, 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 really enjoy the process in your life. The process um, of your life not going in results oh I want to have this revenue at the end of the year I want to have this I want to have this my, my goals my goals I want to reach my goals 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 and you lose and you lose the living mentality you lose really really life to enjoy the journey the waves of life that's important enjoy the waves of life the ups and downs of life accept it when you're feeling yourself not so good um, go meditating and you feel better and better but go on the waves of life enjoy it enjoy it and not going constantly that result minded attitude from what is far and far in the future i want to be there i want to be there i want to be there and then i maybe i'm happy then i find the diamond the diamond sutra on the end of the horizon there is a diamond no the diamond is already here the diamond is in your in the here and now the diamond is now enjoy the process is the diamond already. So that's the last interesting giveaway from the Buddha, the giveaway from Gautam the Buddha, the giveaway from Osho who are really reading the sutras uh, of this book, this 400 page book. So the master is the mirror. You have to go search for a mirror. You Stop the clinching mentality. Don't be fearful in your life. And the fourth is drop the idea of winning. The winning of the status-oriented society, of the matrix. To win, to win, to have more money, to have more career, to have more position. 
drop the idea of winning just enjoy what you're doing in life just enjoy your relationship and don't make too much plans in the future don't clinch to your plans don't clinch to your career moves stop the clinching enjoy the living and drop the idea of winning thank you for watching this book report and i see you by the next one bye bye